Recently, there was a huge upset on the Day of Reckoning in Saudi on the 23rd of December as Deontay Wilder lost to Joseph Parker. So in this video, we will be answering what has happened to Deontay Wilder? So, rewind, for anyone who doesn't know, who is Deontay Wilder? Well, he is famous for having a humongous right hand. Before his famous trilogy with Tyson Fury, his boxing record was 42 wins with 41 knockouts. His trilogy with Tyson Fury is one of the most famous trilogies ever in boxing. If you haven't watched it, just go and watch it now. Go, go. So, in the build-up to the Parker fight, what was it like for Deontay Wilder? Well, one of the warning signs that he might lose was he hadn't he hadn't been active. He'd fought once in two years since his third match with Tyson Fury. So in October of 2022, he beat Robert Hellenius in the first round. Although, obviously, this is a great knockout to beat someone in the first round. It's adding up to the spring rust, you know? He's only had one round in almost two years. In contrast, Joseph Parker, Wilder's opponent, had been staying very active. He had had three wins in 2023. He is also very good friends with Tyson Fury, the man Wilder had the trilogy with, and Tyson Fury beat him twice. So again, this was a warning sign that although everyone was predicting Wilder to win with his huge right hand, that Parker could cause an upset. So, in the actual fight, what happened? So, Parker won comfortably on points in Saudi Arabia. This was a huge upset as the Saudis had given Parker to Wilder as an easy kind of setup practice fight for his bout against Anthony Joshua. And his bout with Anthony Joshua had been spoken about for years and only Joseph Parker stood in the way of it. Everyone expected him to be walked over, but credit to Parker. He did well, and we now may never see Wilder versus Joshua. Anthony Joshua, the previous two times heavyweight champion of the world. So, this leaves us with the question, what happened to Deontay Wilder? He looked like a shell of his former self in that ring. Well, the simple answer is, he found peace and happiness. He went on an ayahuasca retreat. Ayahuasca is a plant-based psychedelic which helps bring life into perspective. You experience the same emotions you feel just before you die. So it's supposed to help you with gratitude and perspective. It's a very spiritual experience that is supposed to help you find fulfillment and fight against anxiety and depression. And you could see, mentally, he was probably in a better space. After the fight, he talked about how much he loved his family, how much he couldn't wait to get back to them. He didn't seem, you know, angry that he lost. I think it's worth noting that as a boxer, a lot of times you have to be very comfortable with negative emotions. You know, Deontay Wilder previously talked about wanting to put people in body bags. You know, he wanted to kill people. The same with Jake Paul. If you've ever seen one of his vlogs before his fights, he, he has this mantra where he goes, I will knock out, embarrass and humiliate whoever his opponent is. Although, you know, this is horrible and negative, it's arguably necessary as a boxer. You've got to want to hurt these people. Everyone was criticising Anthony Joshua for having, you know, lost his... for having lost his nastiness after his loss to Andy Ruiz and Usyk. So yeah, it's a sport where negativity is hugely important. So what's next for Deontay Wilder? There were talks of him having a bout with Zile Zhang, who was coming off two huge KO wins against Joe Joyce. 
but it looks like Zhang will be facing Parker. So, if Rada will fight again is unknown. Maybe, you know, this is his time for retirement. He got into boxing because he needed to pay medical bills for his daughter. You know, he's provided for them now. Maybe he needs to just sail off in the sunset after having had, you know, a successful career. He's been a champion, made huge money. He probably doesn't need it anymore. Or will he not want to end in a loss? Will he have one more? Will he try and find that nasty nastiness again? Who knows? However, you know, I wish him the best in his family, with his family and obviously for his career. Hope that was informative. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.